So I wanted to take this opportunity to show off LR Frieza. Now, I know as it pertains to what I want to show off, I should probably be using Global, <clears throat> but I was able to find a Janemba friend on JP, so I can kind of fulfill the same thing. And of course, I have access to a few units on this team that Global doesn't have access to yet. So anyways, we're going to show off LR Frieza yet again uh, and give you guys kind of an idea as to how good this unit is at this point in the game. Of course, he is an incredibly old LR. What was he, second LR on, on uh, JP? I don't know. I, I feel like Global released them in a tad bit different order, but I could just be misremembering. So either way, second or third oldest LR in the game, of course, first and foremost was LR Goku. But, you know, uh, because Global is about to get their campaign, uh, or not campaign, excuse me, I don't want to misrepresent. Uh, they're about to get their fourth stage. Now, eventually, they'll probably get a campaign, which I assume JP will get too. But they're about to get a fourth stage. Now, you could very much just wait until the campaign. But it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference anyway because you still get the same rewards whether you do it now or later on. Now, a lot of people have also waited for this stage before they decided they were going to grind Frieza. So I want to go over Frieza for you guys and just give you guys a general idea, like I was saying earlier, as to like how good this unit is at this point in the game with the changes that in the time that's passed. Um, for comparison's sake, SS3 Goku, or excuse me, SS3, SS1 LR Goku, the tech unit, is actually still really good. It still does... A solid amount of damage and stuff so here's my freezer right now I say 20 uh, those stat distributions and passive is he gets 13,000 attack and then 5,000 defense up so he basically is LR Goku in a sense with that passive just a little bit better you can kind of see the power creep kicking in in relation to like their passives so he typically just has the Frieza clan links and stuff like that and he's also part of the Namek Saga, which I wasn't going to use because that's only a 77% category. So for all intents and purposes, this is the best team for him right now. Going to avoid that super. I do want to see where the defense is. He's at 35,000 defense without any sort of support. We're going to get our ultra super here. And before I proceed, by the way, if you're wondering about these units, uh, this is Hoi. He comes out with AGL Tapion tape and Minosha and Tech Tapion and the Harutagarn event. So, he's from the Wrath of the Dragon movie. He's a uh, support unit. I believe he supports extreme type allies, but he's a STR type, so he could be on this team. 20% to attack and defense in two key. Boy, is high key like one of the boy Hoy is high key one of the best supports in the game. And then he has access to being on this team. You guys know Rose. 17 uh, tier for the eventual or changing if I need that with Frieza because he's an LR. Uh, and then Jace is actually one of the better Ginyu Force members as it pertains to the mono teams. This man actually supports his allies for 20% or so attack and 2 key while also allowing you to see where the super attacks are. Now, I know I've talked your ear off. I just had a lot I wanted to explain. Let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, and of course, Janemba is the leader of this team. 3,000 damage. I'll take that any day of the week. All right, Frieza, 744,000 attack stat. No special links. I don't think you're active here. Nothing in particular. Uh, but he also, again, doesn't have any support, but he has type advantage. So that's his 18 key super, literally. Uh, of course, you guys know the more key, the better. Hits just a bit harder. So if I could ever tr trigger max key alongside some sort of support, that would be best case scenario. Why does this game still do that thing where, like, some super attacks distort the screen? Like, if you look at the bottom and the right-hand side, why does that? <laughs> the game has done that for so long. But just some specific attacks. Oh no, they went Super Saiyan! <laughs> Alright, so funnily enough, literally all the support is on this one rotation. Okay, that's how you feel, huh? Well, I can see that they're about to super attack Rose in the first slot. That's what the red ring around it is. Like, Jace's mechanic is so awesome. The ability to see that stuff is just insanely cool. Like, if they would ever allow for us to get more item slots, I would definitely, for example, use the scouter item. But nowadays, there's like not as much point. It's a good item, but there's not as much point or reason to use it when you still need your heals and stuff. Like, you have to use your items in the in the few spots that you have. Uh, I guess depending on the stage you're taking on, though, maybe you don't. I think this is like, I don't want to say the first time I've seen this, but it's the first time in a really long time I've seen Hoi super attack. Okay, so we got uh, we got some key coming through okay we also get metamorphosis by being linked so we're gonna get max key here still no attack support or defense support I imagine the defensive stat is not 39 or whatever still 35 excuse me uh, by the way I'm not so sure I think that Frieza might debuff uh, reduces the enemy's attack and defense 
So yeah, Frieza does debuff is what it looks like. So that's pretty cool, actually. It's a minor thing, but it's still a thing. So just happy that Frieza is still a viable unit. You know, 875,000. Again, not spectacular attack stat, but he's also not 100%, which is what the campaign would make you want to do. Definitely, though, not comparable to Gasha LRs, like the summonable banner LRs. Whether it's the, you know, the Dokkan Festival exclusive ones or the ones that are just kind of hidden in every banner uh, that have been there for a while, like Gohan and Trunks. He's not really comparable to those guys, though. I will say that admittedly. But by no means is he a bad unit. Uh, special link for this event is triggered for Janemba. Huh. Didn't know there was a special link for this because, admittedly, I, <laughs> I didn't really have a problem with it. So I just... This event was honestly not too bad for me, but it's of course because I have access to like a lot of units. So I didn't really, I don't really use the special links that much anymore. Like I used to a lot back in the OG days. <laughs> All right, Rose is just plowing through this. Pause. When I really didn't want Rose to be in this scenario, I wanted him to show off the defense support for Frieza and all that. And freaking Janemba, that is not how I wanted this to go. <laughs> uh, Goku looks so triggered. Oof, I love that art. I love the art on Gogeta, man. Okay, well this time around I at least have some support. So, I'm gonna purposely not give Janemba a super attack if I can because Janemba supering is just, oh I can't, cause Hoi. Ah, dang it Hoi. But Janemba Supering has just been a bane in my side. At least this time, though, we do have uh, access to attack and defense support. So with the 20% support on rotation with him, he then jumps up to 42,000 defense, which, again, is not remarkable. But considering the fact that he has a flat boost passive, it's actually very, very helpful. And, uh, you know, imagine if that was hit. Because I don't have hit on JP. I do on global, but JP don't want to bring back those STR banners for more than one summon. So I can't even try to get hit in Kaba. <laughs> they brought it back for one summon. 1.4 million attack. And he's going to do... Don't be the money with a crit, too. 800,000. I'll take that. 880, I think. All right. I think Janembo is going to do a tremendous amount of damage now. Because he did a lot last time. Actually, no. Frieza out damaged my Janemba, so that's good. My Janemba is like plus... 2200 or something like that. Although I think the friend Janemba is just really, really good. Okay. So, what do this rotation? Freaking Rose with the key support. <laughs> that man making everybody super, damn it. <laughs> uh, my Janemba's about as good as this one, actually. Mine's a little better offensively. Never mind. Freaking heck, man. Rosé over here. <laughs> Giving everybody access to key when I don't want them to have it. Oh. Oh, and the dodge. Janemba said, I remember you, Saiyajin. Saiyajin. <laughs> oh, no, no, stop. Stop, stop, please. All right, Rosé, please just do not blow up the stupid event, Rosé. Please, that's all I need. Okay, 96,000. I can live with that. Stones. Okay, don't additional. Thank you. So we can at least get one last shot with Frieza and with this faithful minion and alongside another support. So this is Frieza basically at his best. Is there a super attack this turn? There is not. Okay. So can we max out key on Frieza as well? It looks like we can. All right. Oh, so close. I might have been able to do it before I hit those orbs. I probably should have gave him the green orbs, but it's fine. The attack that I am boosted for this round will make up for the lack in key. Forgive my mistake there, guys. Wait, did Jace not tell me there was a super attack there or did I just not pay attention? I probably just didn't pay attention. Oh, I love that close-up, man. I freaking love the close-ups that they do. Yeah, it's there. It's way in the back, though. 1.2 million. 
Oh, I'm kind of upset. Kind of upset because Frieza wasn't even linking with Jace. I could have put Frieza in the first slot. Okay. 758,000 attack. So, general point of the video. Just want to point this out before we get out of here. So, to reiterate, Frieza is a really, really, really good unit, first and foremost. Secondly, he's a really, really good free-to-play unit, meaning you don't have to summon him with stones or anything like that. You just have to spend your time in grinding up the unit. But if you do it now versus waiting for the campaign, you get a head start on it, of course. You don't have to try to rush and get everything done. Uh, or if you do it later, uh, you know, or, well, you do it. You know, in the next few days, I think the extra stage comes out either tomorrow or on the 6th. I can't recall that exactly. But either way, whenever it does go live, stage 4, you know, all in all, Frieza is a solid unit, though. Do it now, do it later, doesn't really matter. But I do recommend getting Frieza, especially if you're going to run Extreme STR or you just need another strong villain. Or maybe down the line they add another Frieza, you know, category or something like that that he would be good in. And also if you want to have a good look in the Namek Saga category. So anyways, thank you for tuning in. I hope you all enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new for more content. I'll have you guys, or I'll have you guys, I'll have you guys for dinner. No pause. Anyways, I'll catch you all in the next Dokkan Battle video. Take it easy, guys.